Hi, my name is Ashley Thurman. I am 5'9", 19 years old, and with Posh Models in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Welcome to Deltona, Florida, the place that I've always called home. Hello. Uh, today I'm going to work, and I work as a barista and server at the Boston Coffee House in Orange City, Florida. Uh, I love my job, and I love taking care of tables and getting people what they need, so come see me at work. Hi, this is Tebow. This is a five-year-old Hampshire ram that I had in high school. Uh, I got probably about five or ten babies out of him uh, throughout my time with him, and he's had other babies since then. So I've given him to a friend, and she let me come out and actually blow dry him. So. No, no, no. Good girl. All done. All done. Is it? Uh, almost all done. Oh. Oh, good girl. Good girl. She's like, oh, it doesn't feel good. My car is one thing that's really important to me, and keeping it clean and pearl shiny uh, is a high priority to me. So after going and seeing the sheep yesterday, she got kind of dirty. So I'm gonna give her a wash today. to a four-year university in the spring. Hello again. Every Sunday morning since I was born, uh, going to church on Sunday morning has been a big part of my life. So this is Sunday morning and we're going to church. So come on with me. Our moral immune system barometer and compass is one thing, conscience, conscience. My family and I are extremely close in many ways. We try and encourage each other uh, in all situations. Uh, my parents have definitely made family a priority and I'm very thankful of that. Uh, whether it's eating dinner together or playing games together and they still make going on a family vacation or priority, uh, it feels good and to know that you have such a strong support system. So here are some few clips of my family and I. Let's go and just practice. All right.
<laughs> okay, Daddy volunteers. <laughs> Carol, we probably would just thank you for today. Thank you that like us here. Ashley's here. Just have a good day. We love you and we thank you for this food. Lord, we ask you to bless it to our bodies. We'll give you all the grace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is it? Living a fit and healthy life is something that my family and I value and take close to heart. Uh, we try and eat healthy and work out on a daily basis, uh, especially being an aspiring model, it's definitely come in handy and it's a good way for me to get out my stress. I usually work out at a local gym, but because we're filming, they wouldn't allow me to show. So, uh, we're just gonna make do here. <laughs> My friends and family would describe me as eclectic, uh, passionate. They would not hesitate to say that I stress out easily, because I do, I'll admit it. Um, but it kind of gets the exciting part of me as well. Um, they are there for me all the time and they know that no matter what it is, I have a strong passion for it and especially modeling. that. Uh, it's in my heart. I think that people's first impressions of me are that I'm put together. Uh, I can put on a front many times even when I am not put together at all. But whether my hair is done or my outfit's put together, uh, I always kind of look polished. In high school, I was pretty much the quiet girl who kept to herself. Uh, definitely, if you came up and talked to me, we'd have a nice conversation, um, might even have lunch, but I was, I kind of kept to myself, and that kept me out of a lot of trouble, actually, though, I was the one that actually surprised you a lot of the times as well, and my senior year of high school, the, about the last three days of school, uh, I called up a few buddies of mine, and we pulled the senior prank and set the school for sale, put a huge for sale sign, I mean like two queen size bed sheets saying for sale on the school building. And that was a really good time, but people did not expect it was me at all when they found out. My hobbies would include sewing, doing pottery, playing the guitar, anything creative, music, I love music. I can only play the guitar, kind of, um, but I'm still pursuing it and hopefully I'll get better. But I love to make things with my hands. I love to draw pictures. Uh, I love working with my sheep, as you saw. Um, those are just a few hobbies of mine that are really close to my heart. And especially modeling as well. Modeling something that I consider a hobby uh, and also a career, something that I can have a good time with and also make, hopefully make a living in the future with. I would love to work on a campaign that would fit me. 
uh, something, anything from a hair campaign to a makeup campaign to a deodorant campaign. I've always, I know it sounds crazy, but I've always said that I've always wanted to be on a secret commercial um, for a secret deodorant. But anything, uh, I love sports, uh, I'm not the most athletic person, but why not have someone that you can more relate to if you're not? I mean, I can't relate to an Olympic athlete. This opportunity is extremely important to me. Uh, right now, I cry at night because I don't know what I'm doing in life, and I know that I have a passion for this, and that I can do this, and this would be a life-changing opportunity, and really set me on the track to where I want to go, and help my dreams to come true, and I just can't describe how important this is to me, but I would give anybody the chance to show them any day. If I don't get this opportunity, uh, I'll definitely be heartbroken and kind of let down, but that doesn't mean I can't apply next season even. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do, and modeling's in my heart, and I know that uh, no matter how many times I say I give up and I'm done, that I'm going to go back to it and I enjoy doing it. Uh, whether I can still stay serving at a local coffee shop and part-time working down in Miami or if I get the guts to get up and just move to New York uh, and give it a shot or move to California and give it a shot. Um, we're gonna see where life takes us and this opportunity right now is kind of my first step as in, all right, God, if this is your will, then this is going to happen. And so this is what I'm focusing on at the moment. Uh, my modeling timeline is just, for now, it's just this. And if the opportunity falls through, uh, then I will just continue to be with my agents. In many ways, I'm doing this for myself. Um, though I'm also doing it for who I was five years ago. Um, growing up I was always a very self-conscious kid. I was picked on, I was bullied. I think that's kind of why I kept to myself come high school. I ended up actually tra tra changing schools high school just because it got so terrible. And I think I'm really doing it for her, for who I was back then. and to show girls who are like that and who are like me that it doesn't matter what people think of you. It doesn't matter uh, if someone tells you you can't do it because you can. My look is extremely versatile. Um, no matter, a lot of times I actually get, I'm Asian. Uh, no part of me is Asian. Um, I am Italian. Um, I can be the girl next door or the high fashion model, uh, just whatever. I can adapt into any situation and this definitely makes me unique. Uh, just the certain things on my body that personalize me, like my bump on my nose from being Italian or my Asian-like eyes, um, my birthmark. Uh, my friend would always be like, when people would make fun of me over my birthmark, she'd be like, be quiet, she's unique, that's all right. So those are just some things that make me unique and really personalize my look and really make me and help me to adapt to situations in the modeling world uh, and become an actor in front of the camera. Some areas of modeling that I would like to improve on uh, would definitely be being 100% confident when I step in front of the camera and not having any doubts, um, knowing exactly what I'm doing when I walk down the runway. I've had much coaching and sometimes I believe it was really helpful. In other words, in other times I feel like there was just so much that I just need one person to sit down with me and be like, okay, this is how you're going to do it. Uh, no doubts about it. So that's definitely an area. 
um, along with just building my experience and my resume and getting coaching from wherever needed. This was a day in the life of me. Uh, thank you for coming with me and seeing how kind of my condensed version of my week goes. Um, these are all things that I'm very passionate about and that are dear to my heart. And I thank you all for the wonderful opportunity.